of the dairy world. No amount of lactose intolerance can keep me from stuffing my face with its creamy goodness. I love all types of cheese. I love goat's cheese, cow cheese, cat cheese, human cheese, but my favourite cheese medium is fake cheese. So today I'm going to make a fake cheese cheesecake. Fake cheese cheesecake. Look at it. Look how fun and sticky and floppy it is. I'm just going to test something. <laughs> so to start with, you're going to need a base. And I'm just going to use some crunchy cheese snacks. Lunchables. We're putting crackers in, dunkers, cheese straws, got some puffs in there. And the best way to smash it all up is to give it all a good stamping on. You're going to take all your smooshed up biscuits, to make sure it's set solid, you're going to pour over some melted butter. I'm actually lactose intolerant, so if I really want to have a cheese feast, I've got to book a couple of weeks off work and take a proper cheese holiday. My cheese holiday is basically sitting really near a toilet, completely naked, just waiting for the cheese nightmare to kick in. So now that's all packed down, you've got to leave it to chill so all the fat firms up and makes a nice, hard, crunchy base. So I'm gonna get some of my fake cheese ready to melt over a bain marie. I'm using all the fun fake cheeses because they taste better. Like I don't get posh cheese. I remember when I was small and I was around my friend's house and she was like super posh. I went around her house for tea and then afterwards her mum brought out a cheese board even though we were like seven years old. And I was like, what the fuck? Well, they had all these like posh crumbly cheeses with like cranberries and I was like, where's the fucking cheese strings, man? Where's the burger cheese? So this is an ode to economical, squidgy, almost plastic cheese. Dunkers. Hmm. Oh, so this cheesecake is gonna be layered. But what I'm melting now is gonna be like the squidgy hard layer to go on top of the crispy base. Everyone in East Asia thinks white people smell of rotting milk because we eat dairy. And one of my Japanese friends who only eats sushi, she's always like, ugh, you guaylo smell of dairy leaves. <laughs> so maybe it's just not meant to be with me. Maybe my half Asia side is trying to stop me from eating cheese because it thinks it makes me stink. <laughs> So once you've smoothed out all the cheese, you're going to put it back in the fridge again and leave it to go hard. Soft and creamy layer. So now that's nice and firm, you can move on to the final layer, which is a classic cheesecake texture. I've always thought cheese dreams was a myth, but not long ago, I went on a Dairy Lee binge. Every time I've had Dairy Lee, I've been having this crazy recurring dream where I've got Mel Gibson's decapitated head in a grocery bag. I'm just walking along a beach looking for somewhere to bury it in the sand. I was like, this is so inconvenient. I've got a head in a bag. Cheesy bastard. See, fake cheese can be classy. Look how diverse it is. Fuck a cheese board. This is a real cheese beast. So there you have it, my fake cheese cheesecake. That's definitely worthy of a cheese holiday. Oh.